We're digging deeper into a story we first told you about last night regarding a man busted by the state for spear fishing in the Waikiki Fisheries Management Area during prohibited hours. Ariel Argel has more on the fishing rules and why they're important to follow. 40-year-old Jeffrey Mufo was cited for four violations after being found with dozens of fish in the backseat of his car. Mufo was spearfishing here at the Waikiki Fisheries Management Area at around 10 p.m. In this area, you're only allowed to fish here on even-numbered years and between the hours of 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Not only was he spearfishing during prohibited times, but he was also in possession of more than two uhus and took fish that were too small to be legal. According to the Department of Land and Natural Resources, Sources, a total of 73 fish were taken away from him. The biologists um, have to keep track of um, the numbers and and what fish is doing good, and that's why they use uh, our Hawaii Freshwater Fishing Association's records to keep track of the, the population. According to the DLNR fishing regulations, certain species of fish have different seasons, minimum sizes, and a limit as to how many you can take. Certain regulated fishing areas have different fishing periods and hours. Uh, you know, the fishing rules, and stuff, they should have it more um, available or visual at different sites, maybe big signs or something telling exactly what can be and can be done in a short version. And they have some at the, at the at Lake Wilson, but I don't see that many in the saltwater area. Arugame says he also believes the DLNR should hire more officers and increase enforcement to prevent more fishers like MUFA from harming the environment. To learn more about specific fish and fishing spots, go to KITV.com and search fishing regulations. Ariel Largell, Island News.